welcome back to Sarah's Music. The greatest trumpet player in the galaxy. That's how the press have described my guest today. Håkon Hardenberger is a Swedish trumpet player who received his first trumpet aged eight and hasn't looked back since. He's in Berlin to play a concerto with the Berlin Philharmonic. And today on Sarah's Music, we're going to see just how global his popularity is. So what we're doing today is a live horn hangout. This is a series of interviews that I do online with amazing musicians and uh, I interview them and people can join in on the web chat and ask their questions and have them answered in real time. And we have viewers from Guatemala to Iceland to India. So Hawken, welcome back to Berlin. You. And you're here for, it's strange, you've been playing for so long, but you have a big premiere this week. I do, it's the first time I play with the Berlin Philharmonic. It's, I can't believe yeah, it. It's, it's really incredible. Yeah. You're playing a piece you know very well, you've played it over 60 times, H.K. Gruber's uh, Ariel. Ariel yes. And uh, and he, he wrote it for you. He did. And he, I heard an interview today um, uh, that he'd, he'd given about the piece, and not only did you blow a cow horn onto his answer phone, um, <laughs> he, you showed him all the little tricks of taking out slides and all sorts of trumpety things. I did, because I, I knew he would, he would take it and use it in a very poetic manner, which he, he definitely does. It's, it's a masterpiece. What you've done for the trumpet world, you have extended the repertoire beyond belief. Um, and that, that's what you really actually set out, set out to do. You've had people write things for you ever since the beginning. If we're going to say that the trumpet has a possibility of being a solo instrument on, in the classical scene, then there need to be um, substantial repertoire. You yes. know, something that, that is really can compete with a great violin concerto or a great piano concerto or a singer. You know, the choices that a conductor has or a program committee are endless. But trumpet was for you from the very beginning. Absolutely. Your dad got you an old beat up trumpet mm. for Christmas. Mm. Your parents aren't musicians. No, not at all. So why did he, he just picked it up and thought maybe... Well, he'd heard, a, he'd heard a concert with Louis Armstrong many years before, and it was just a fun thing to do, to buy for Christmas. I mean, it cost nothing, and it was really beaten up, but it, I got hooked. He loved it. Yeah. And also your first, uh, first teacher was very, very inspiring. That's, that's yes. the most important thing Absolutely. for Absolutely. Boone Nilsson, uh, and, you know, from the word go, long, long lessons and very intense. and. I just thought this is this is it. There's a nice question uh, that came in. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah, James from Canada says, "Do you have any funny anecdotes that happened to you while performing?" Oh my! God. I like these sort of questions. Thanks, James. Good question. <laughs> I can think of one. I, that was in Australia actually, and I was going to play this big concerto. I walk in and I'm I'm all concentrated, and and there's a little lady sitting straight in front of me, and. As soon as I take the trumpet up, she goes. <laughs> <laughs> Sam wants to know what is your favorite piece in the solo repertoire? Is it? It's hard to say. It's like, what's your favorite? That's color? very hard. <laughs> yes, and you know, I've, I've premiered all these pieces, and of course, the music that's been written for me feels that's very close. That's kind of like musical children, you know. And, and uh, but. Definitely Ariel that I'm playing this week is, is one of the, the big favorites. It, it's such a wide spectrum of, of, of emotions and, and, and possibilities.
The composer Brett Dean has written a piece for Hawken Hardenberger called Dramatis Pazone. Brett, what's it like to compose for Hawken? Are there any technical limitations at all? Well, no. I mean, the, perhaps the biggest challenge is that there aren't any technical <laughs> limitations. And, uh, you know, you can basically... You've got free hand to just write as you like. But then... At some point you have to hone in on what, what the piece itself is about and so then the limitations are, are more of a musical nature. The, the piece is actually about Hawke and you've got superheroes in there, you have uh, a bit of Shakespeare, a bit of Charlie Chaplin, all these characters in there. Did you have Hawke and, Hawke and's character in your mind when you wrote it? Certainly Hawke as, as, a, as a type, yeah. I mean he, he embodies something very heroic anyway. The trumpet does of course as well. But then he's not just, you know, fantastic chops and, and whatever, he's a poet as well. That's, that's the thing that I think struck me so much about writing for him and working with him is, is just how, how much beauty of tone and poetry he brings to the instrument, even though he can do all the, all the stuff as well. The conductor Anders Nelsons is not only one of my favourite conductors, he was also a trumpet player and has worked often with Hawken. Andres, you, you've conducted quite a few performances with Hawken. What makes him such an amazing, incredible trumpet player? Yeah, there are many, many things what, what of course makes him such an such a amazing uh, musician. Uh, firstly, I mean, his, his personality and his mu mu musicianship, so uh, and his ideas and thoughts about music and about life are very, you know, serious, very deep and very, you know, uh, philosophical as well. And and that's why he looks to many things, you know, in a very wide perspective. I think all trumpeters uh, and all all the music world are so thankful to him that actually there are so many pieces composed for him, commissioned for him. Uh, that the repertoire has widened hugely because otherwise we would have a Haydn concerto and Hummel and 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 Tomasi and few few post-Soviet, <laughs> you know, <laughs> composers who wrote uh, who wrote uh, some concertos for trumpet and and that's it actually. And of course, this program, the best trumpet player in the world and the best orchestra combination. This is a special, you know. So and I'm very very proud and honored to be part of this. I would say historical moment even, you know. <laughs> That's all for today on Sarah's Music. I really enjoyed hanging out with Hawken this week. I hope you did too. See you next time. Bye.
Well, I'd like to do a live online horn challenge, but getting you to play the French horn is not really... I think, you sh I think that we should reverse the challenge. And that I have to play the trumpet no, or what? No, no, no. You are a horn player. I'm a horn player? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, one and two, one and two. Up. Yeah. That's a note. <laughs> <laughs>